What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, three-division world champion, former junior welterweight, undisputed world champion, currently the WBO reigning welterweight world champion, who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world, in Terrence Bud Crawford. 38 wins, no losses, no draws, 29 big wins by way of knockout, 34 years of age, stands at 5'8", with a 74-inch arm reach. Terrence Crawford is coming off of the biggest win of his career, defeating two-time welterweight world champion superstar boxer Showtime Sean Porter in a manner that Sean Porter has never been uh, defeated, in which he dropped Sean Porter twice in one round in the 10th round, and ultimately, Sean Porter's father training manager, Kenny Porter, he saw enough and waved the white towel. With that said, that was the biggest step up, biggest challenge in Terrence Crawford's career. And Terrence Crawford, he passed the test. With that said, everybody's wondering what's next for Terrence Crawford. Now, Terrence Crawford, he makes up for 50% of the biggest fight in the sport of boxing between himself and his rival, undefeated unified WBC IBF welterweight world champion superstar boxer who is widely considered by many to be number three top three best pound for pound fighters in the world in Earl the True Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. has 27 wins no losses no draws 21 big wins by way of knockout five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach he is 31 years of age that makes for the biggest fight in the sport of boxing when these two finally and eventually come together. With that said, Errol Spence is on a mission and he's looking to collect all the belts. Now, Terrence Crawford, he has the last piece to the puzzle, but Errol Spence, he's playing Monopoly. Errol Spence is getting ready to face off against Cuban star, WBA super uh, champion, welterweight, Jordanus Ugas in his next fight, which seems to be taking place in March. Now, when this uh, ruling came down that the WBA is no longer going to stand in the way of uh, Errol Spence versus Jordanus Ugas for unification, well, that led everybody to wonder, what's next for Terrence Bud Crawford, okay? Uh, because initially, Gilberto Mendoza, president of the WBA World Boxing Association, he stated that Jordanus Ugas was going to have to participate in a tournament, okay? where he was going to have to fight Stan Jonas. His WBA regular champion, Jamal James, he defended that title against Butev, and Butev beat Jamal James. So with that said, uh, the winner of Jordan Sugis and Stan Jonas was going to have to fight Butev, but Stan Jonas decided that he was going to take step aside money. He's going to fight Butev, okay, opposed to him having to uh, fight Ugas and a winner fight Butev. He's going to go fight Butev, eliminate that fight, and uh, hopefully look to secure a victory, uh, a fight, uh, against a uh, Shakur victory against Butev and secure a fight against the winner of El Spence here, Dana Sugis. But that's going to be a long shot because everybody's going to want to see the winner of that fight immediately fight Terrence Crawford. So when that ruling came down that they were indeed going to allow it and to approve it, well, everybody wondered what's next for Terrence Crawford. We know former unified welterweight world champion, superstar boxer Keith One Tom Thurman, he called out Terrence Crawford. He said that he wouldn't mind fighting Terrence Crawford in eight months, okay? Now, we know that um, Keith Thurman had been out the ring since July of 2019 when he lost to legendary eight-division world champion iconic Filipino superstar boxer Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Keith Thurman has not been in the ring since then. Now, Keith Thurman is making his ring return February 5th against Mario Barrios, former junior welterweight WBA regular champion Mexican star boxer who lost his title to three-division world champion superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis via 11th round knockout, okay? So Mario Barros, he decided to take his talents north to 147 from 140, who is a very big guy at 5'10 with a 70-inch arm reach. I don't know how he made junior welterweight to begin with, but that's who Keith Thurman is going to be facing off against, okay? Uh, and then Keith Thurman, he said he'll face Terrence Crawford in eight months. Well, that'll be right on par with what Keith Thurman normally does, and when he comes back off a hiatus, after he unified the belts against two-division world champion Puerto Rican superstar boxer Danny Swift Garcia back in 2017, you know, Keith Thurman, he went on a hiatus at that point in time, and uh, he didn't come back till 2019. He had a fight in January of 2019 when he fought against uh, Josito Lopez. He beat Josito Lopez, but Keith Thurman in that fight with Josito Lopez was nearly stopped in that fight. That was January 26th, okay? A week difference from his fight, February 5th against Mario Barrios, okay? 
Then in July, he faced Manny Pacquiao, which we all know he lost a split decision to Manny Pacquiao. But nonetheless, you see the writing on the wall. You see a pattern here. Keith Thurman fought January 26th after a two-year layoff. Now he's going to fight February 5th. That's a week apart from his last hiatus, okay? Then he's looking to fight Terrence Crawford in July, okay? Uh, so with that said, Keith Thurman, 29 wins, one loss, no draws, 22 big wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, 5'7", with a 69-inch arm reach. Again, he'll be facing off against Mario Barrios. Now, uh, there's another guy Terrence Crawford has his eye on, and that's um, and we know Terrence Crawford. Before I say that, Terrence Crawford, he was the last uh, undisputed junior welterweight. Well, another guy has now, um, you know, uh, done the same thing, and that's uh, undefeated, uh, undisputed junior welterweight world champion British superstar boxer Josh Taylor. Okay, Josh Taylor who is uh, 30 years of age, okay? Josh Taylor stands at 5'10", uh, with a 69, 70-inch arm reach, okay? He's a southpaw, 18 wins, no loss, no draws, 13 wins by way of knockout. He has to fight against Jack Cottrell, who's an undefeated uh, star boxer, who is his mandatory that he was already obligated to face off against. Now, Jack Cottrell is out of the UK. He's undefeated, 26 wins, no loss, no draws, 13 wins by way of knockout. Uh, five foot seven. He's a southpaw as well. Okay, so Jack Cottrell, he'll be facing off against uh, um, Josh Taylor. That's February 26. Okay, uh, now Josh Taylor initially he had plans to move straight up to welterweight and challenge Terence Crawford because he holds the WBO belt. And as soon as he moves up in weight, the WBO will make him the mandatory for Terence Bud Crawford. Now this is a fight Josh Taylor has been eyeing for quite some time. He's been eyeing a fight with uh, Terence Crawford for quite a bit of time. And it looks like, uh, you know, Terrence Crawford doesn't mind obliging him. But Terrence Crawford, obviously, he wants the biggest fights at welterweight, seeing as though now he has parted ways from longtime legendary train uh, promoter, top rank CEO and promoter Bob Arum, ESPN and top rank. Now Terrence Crawford is a network promotional free agent and he can move how he so chooses and he can look to land the biggest fights that he wants to land. Now, obviously, when he moved up initially to welterweight, Terrence Crawford, he explained that he thought that Keith one time Thurman was indeed the man to beat at welterweight. He thought that Keith Thurman was the best welterweight in the world. And at one point, Keith Thurman was viewed as the best welterweight in the world. But when Keith Thurman started going on these so different hiatuses, fighting once a year, going on two year layoffs. And he made himself in, uh, uh, irrelevant, uh, uh, you know, uh, and then he came back and he almost was stopped by Josito Lopez and then he lost to Manny Pacquiao. So Keith Thurman's status, uh, relevancy, his stock has dropped, okay, in the view of the many boxing fans. So, uh, but Keith Thurman, he only has one loss and he did, you know, he got dropped in the uh, first round against Manny Pacquiao. Then he got hurt bad in the 10th round, almost stopped, but he did close the gap. And he, Manny Pacquiao, even though he dropped Keith Thurman, her badly hurt Keith Thurman in the 10th round, but Keith Thurman had to spit out his mouthpiece and he started uh, running around the ring to survive the rent, the round, okay, to the body. Manny Pacquiao hit him with a, a, a body punch. Uh, he still, Manny Pacquiao only won through all of that. He only won a split decision. So you remove the knockdown uh, and you remove that 10th round situation. We might have a draw or we might have a victory in favor of Keith Thurman. So it's not like Keith Thurman was blown out. So Keith Thurman is very, uh, so much, very skilled. He's very talented, a uh, major player in the welterweight division. Keith Thurman's only hang up. And the only thing that hinders Keith Thurman is his inact in, in, uh, inactiveness. Okay. The fact that he's just simply inactive. Okay. Uh, now Josh Taylor, we're getting back to Josh Taylor. This is a fight that, uh, Terrence Crawford's former promoter, Bob Arum has been eyeing for quite some time. Uh, they stated that they wanted this fight to take place over in either Ireland. Josh Taylor is, is uh, from Ireland by way of the UK, okay? Uh, so with that said, you know, he wants this fight to go overseas, either Ireland or directly in the UK somewhere of that nature. And, uh, you know, Terrence Crawford said he wouldn't mind going over there. Now, that's an interesting fight for Terrence Crawford. But, you know, first things first, Josh Taylor, he has to get past Jack Cottrell. So this fight between either Terrence Crawford and Josh Taylor or Terrence Crawford and Keith Thurman, is going to fall around the same time frame. Why? Because Josh Taylor, he fights Jack Cottrell February 26th. Keith Thurman fights February 5th. Now, that's three weeks apart to the day, okay? Uh, so that's 21 days to be exact that they're fighting apart from one, one another. Now, Keith Thurman, obviously, uh, that's nearly a month for Keith Thurman. Now, Keith Thurman said eight months, so July would be eight months for Terrence Crawford. Uh, Josh Taylor is willing to move up, you know, so that would be July. The difference is to deal with the promotional companies. Does Terrence Crawford want to 
a deal with Bob Arum, top rank in ESPN again. He wasn't happy that his fight with Sean Porter wasn't a pay-per-view success because Terrence Crawford fought on the app, ESPN+. Plus. So if Terrence Crawford fights against Josh Taylor, guess where it's going to be? On the app, ESPN+. Plus. He don't like that format, okay? Now, Terrence Crawford, uh, you know, uh, there's reports and rumors that he doesn't favor doing business with uh, Premier Boxing Champions, founding advisor Al Heyman, okay? Um, but that's who he would have to deal with, dealing with Keith Thurman now. There's reports that Terrence Crawford could be dealing with MTK Global as an advisory uh, team for him as, you know, Al Heyman represents for guys like Errol Spence, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, so on and so forth, okay? Uh, the same situation with Terrence Crawford, according to reports, with MTK Global, okay? Uh, now, Terrence Crawford, oddly enough, he took the social media, he let it be known, he's knocking out Josh Taylor or he's knocking out Keith Thurman in July. Now, the fact that Errol Spence has announced that he will be fighting against, uh, excuse me, Terrence Crawford did an interview and he stated, I said, he said it on social media, did an interview and he stated such. Uh, so um, the fact that Errol Spence has uh, fighting your Dana Sugis, he's getting another belt. Terrence Crawford needs the biggest fights available to him because he's losing leverage in negotiations. OK, uh, now Errol Spence, he already stated that he won a 60 40 split. He's doing the bigger pay-per-view numbers. Uh, and he said that the proof is in the numbers. The facts is the numbers just don't lie. So he won a 60 40 split in his favor. Terrence Crawford wasn't happy with that. Stated that it'd be 60 40 in his favor or 50 50. OK, now Errol Spence picks up another belt from your Dana Sugis and will be a three belt holder. And doing a, a this pay-per-view with your Dana Sugis is, is a success. Well, that's going to speak volumes, okay? That's going to speak volumes when he comes to the negotiation table. So Terrence Crawford is going to need a major fight and a successful pay-per-view fight. Well, Keith Thurman can represent that. And the fact that Keith Thurman is with uh, PBC and Al Heyman, well, that helps in negotiations because they'll do, he'll be familiar with how they do business and he'll be, they'll be familiar with Terrence Crawford. We saw that four division world champion Mexican superstar boxer Saul Canelo Alvarez. He stated that he was overly joyed in the way he was treated by PBC and Al Heyman with his last fight in his undisputed showdown with Caleb Plant. Now Canelo Alvarez, um, he's a network promotional free agent as well. So Terence Crawford can follow that model, right? Uh, he could fight against a PBC fighter for undisputed as well, being Errol Spence. But before he gets to that. He could fight against Keith one time Thurman, get familiar with one another, do business with one another, get paid hand handsomely, get the fights that he wants and understand makes himself, uh, you know, um, uh, relevant to them wanting to come closer in the negotiations, close the gap with the 60 40 split that he's not, a, uh, uh, he's not, you know, um, excited about. So makes sense for him to fight Keith Thurman. So he stated he's knocking out Keith Thurman or Josh Taylor in July, which I agree. I believe he'll stop Keith Thurman. His styles make fights. I don't think Keith Thurman uh, is all the way committed to the sport of boxing like he once was. Uh, and I believe that Josh Taylor's style um, suits Terrence Crawford as well. He has a lot of um, lapses. He has a lot of, um, you know, holes in his game that Terrence Crawford, I believe, can capitalize on. So I think he stopped both guys. So let's see how this plays out in July. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Yo, it is your boy Jaden Kiss. Make sure you check out Blue Blood Sports TV. It's going down.